Okay, this clip is going to look at the law of diminishing marginal utility. And that's the idea that as we consume more of a good, the extra satisfaction or benefit that we get from consuming those goods starts to go down. And it's kind of common sense if you think about it. Let's go back to that cafe that we were in the last clip. And again, we're going to buy a cup of coffee. Now, regardless of the price, I'm going to put it to you that I enjoy that coffee so much, I would be prepared to pay $7. That's the marginal utility that I get, measured in dollars, from that cup of coffee, $7. Now, look, it's a, I've been working really hard over the holidays, so let's say I get a second cup of coffee. Would that be as much value to me, regardless of the price, would I get as much benefit from the second cup as from the first cup? And common sense tends to say, no, I wouldn't. So I'm going to put a value on that second cup of, say, $5. That's the only the marginal utility or the extra benefit that I get from that one. So as I consume more cups of coffee all at once, or one straight after the other, not over a period of days, the marginal utility or the extra satisfaction I get starts to go down. Let's say I decided to have a third one. Now, I do quite like coffee, but still having three cups of coffee is not as enjoyable. The value starts to go down. So this one's only worth $4. Again, I keep going. Um, I say, oh, I'll have one more. But this time, it's only worth $1. And at that point, I'm actually going to stop because I've had too much cups of coffee. Just ignore that. So the, uh, the law of diminishing marginal utility states that as we consume more of a good or service, the extra benefit that we gain gets less or reduces.